just like your grandma made it. A little bit of butter on it. Welcome to the channel. We're just a couple of empty nesters from Tennessee. Well, hey guys. I didn't know you all were hanging out in here. <laughs> Let's go to sleep. Are you sleeping? You're so cute. A little bit. Hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Sonia from Nashville area. I'm here every Saturday at 7, bringing you life as it happens <laughs> here in the South. Um, I did want to say, someone asked about the deer footage in the video. And yes, that's in our yard and in our neighborhood. And they basically live here. I mean, they're pretty used to humans. We don't walk up and touch them, but they'll get within five feet of us. So... It's kind of special. It's kind of like living in the Garden of Eden or something without the flowers. <laughs> but, you know, they're really nice. Yeah, they're, they're our deer. Um, just a lot going on lately. Just been real busy. Had a day off this past Friday and that kind of helped ground me. There was just, whew, just a lot going on. Uh, I had a little bout with diverticulitis. Have been having to eat differently. That's a whole video in itself. Uh, we did have uh, our anniversary this past week, uh, which meant that we ate out twice. You know, if the anniversary falls in the work week, we usually go out somewhere kind of cheap, but good, you know, during the week. And then when Saturday gets here is when we go out for our special dinner because there's just there's just more time in the day. Um, and we actually went to a very nice place and I'll be showing you that footage here. We had some really, really good news. My daughter and her husband, Katie and Cody, they are expecting our grandbaby number two. And so we found out the gender this week. Um, I've known about it for a couple of weeks. I did not want to say anything until Katie posted. So I didn't post on any social media. I just kind of whispered to my friends, guess what? <laughs> but I did not post anything until after she posted, uh, which seems to be the best etiquette. So we actually had the gender reveal this week in which someone baked a cake for Katie and Cody and River my grandson, and they sliced the cake. And uh, here's the audio of that here. They explained to River, if it was blue, it was gonna be a boy. And if it was pink, it was gonna be a girl. So they cut the cake and then they asked him, okay, so what's it gonna be? And he said, cake. <laughs> I'll let you hear that audio here for yourself. It was really cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't touch it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's blue. What? what are you getting? Paint. <laughs> You're getting paint. It's a bronzer. Of course, the way I found out was that they FaceTimed me and had River stick out his tongue, which was blue. So I knew that he was getting a brother. Kind of surprised everybody because for some reason, everyone was just thinking it was gonna be a girl. Surprises can still happen. <laughs> I will say that they have before. So, you know, we could be surprised again. You never know. We had this busy week last week. I mean, like two or three nights. Uh, I missed two or three nights of editing because we were just busy. We were gone. Mom and I got our nails and toes done one night. We had our anniversary one night. And the night that I had to actually do some editing, my Mac crashed. So I was really happy to be able to get this past week's video up. I actually had Friday off and uh, that's pretty much what I did for a chunk of Friday was finish up that video and crazy, crazy week. But I did have Friday off and that just kind of grounded me a little bit. 
Um, I had so much to catch up. I mean, even the little things like cleaning your purse out, my work bag. I had notes everywhere. I was able to update my Notion account. And guess what, guys? Look, look, look. <laughs> So I am so excited. So anyway, it's been it's been a great week, but there's been some foul ups, but all is well that ends well. But this day is Sunday. George is taking care of mom today, which is why I'm getting time to do this little vlog this morning. Um, he left and I grabbed out the camera. <laughs> it, it's easier to do it when it's quiet, but I don't want this vlog to be long. I know the vlogs have been um, really long lately, uh, upwards to 45 minutes, and that's not really what I want. I want 20 to 30, so <laughs> I'm shooting for that, but obviously I'm not editing out enough. <laughs> All right, so I am on my way to church this morning. Like I say, George and I switch taking care of mom's stuff, divide and conquer um, on Sundays. I'm meeting them there at church, but then he's going to go and do the grocery shopping with her this week. And I think there's a couple of things she wanted him to uh, hook up or connect or move or something. So, so next week it will be my turn. That gives me a couple of hours back in my day. Uh, I actually do have some running around that I have to do. I need to get the car washed and I need to get a few things at the grocery store for me, you know, for the work week. So anyway, I got to go. I got to get on the road. It's time to go to church. See you in the next scene. I really wanted to just stay at home today, but that's not right. God has done so much for me. So I am going to church this morning on the way. Oops, I got to put my seatbelt on. <laughs> I've also got breakfast on the go here. My choices were, woo, my choices were banana or a granola bar, but obviously went with the banana. Well, I have some errands that I need to run. Church is, is done. I'm kind of bad. <laughs> I stopped at Bojangles, but the good news is I got a two piece and took off a lot of the crust so that I didn't get as much of the fried part. I got slaw, had a lot of cabbage in it and was kind of a vinegary based, creamy, it had a little bit of cream in it, a little bit of mayo. I got the dirty rice. I really was kind of craving the dirty rice. It didn't have a lot of sausage in it, but it did have some good flavoring. So maybe that wasn't too bad. I couldn't think of anywhere to stop and it's like when I thought about fried chicken I'm like well maybe I can eat some of the fried chicken and just kind of take the crust off this is how I'm having to change things very gradually I've still got my biscuit this is a downfall when this comes in your fast food packet box it is hard for me not to eat this it's so fresh just like your grandma made it. A little bit of butter on it. I had said to myself I could have a couple of bites, but then you have a couple of bites and it's like, you know you're gonna eat the whole thing. Anyway, I'm gonna try not to eat the whole thing, but I'll probably eat the whole thing. <laughs> I had to stop and get something to eat because I've got errands to run. I gotta go get my car washed and vacuumed. I wanna do that before fall sets in because I probably won't do it again until next year. <laughs> Life gets busy. And then I need to go through the grocery store just to get a few things for me for this week and a couple of things for me.
okay I'm here at Kroger and I've got my list on the phone but I'm really picky while I'm sitting here in the parking lot I'm going to take the list from my phone and put it on here by section of the store because it just makes it easier and Kroger keeps redesigning their floor space so it confuses me every time I'm gonna have to redo my worksheet I hate that I'm so detailed. I also want to be organized about my grocery shopping so that I don't have to go back 40 times to look for something. And I'll definitely have to go back once or twice. That's guaranteed. <laughs> and $190 later. <laughs> Does something smell good, Maddie? Oh, I like to never got all those things up the stairs. It took, it took two trips. And I have these bags to put some of it in, so that helped. I did get a bottle of wine, and I did get a gift card for somebody. So, they kind of made the price go up. But I got fruit, I got salad. Uh, I don't know what I got. I got a little bit of everything. I tried to get the good for you bread, whole grain. No, it was gluten-free. I am out of breath now. I need to... Get all these put up and take the dogs out and then work on my list that I have to do here at the house. And I wish I hadn't eaten the biscuit because my stomach feels like a brick now. So I think that might be part of the problem is the enriched flour products. I think I'm just gonna have to quit. I mean, just quit. <laughs> some wonderful grilled chicken in the George Foreman grill. It was easy to do because it cooks on both sides at the same time. It was very good. I was trying to eat healthy. So here's some of the things I bought at the store. I got some little yogurt drinks and fruit and apples and yeah I got some little pudding cups and I also made a little salad for work the next day. I've also been trying to drink some hot tea lately, and it really is hitting the spot with me. Mom and I went to Cracker Barrel, and I'm really proud of myself for ordering something that's somewhat healthy. And I've also been eating more oatmeal at work since the days are getting cooler. Works out great. So one night during this week, we went to a fundraising banquet for the Pregnancy Care Center, and we had a wonderful meal there and we love supporting this ministry. We were also able to see some of our old friends that we have known for a very long time, and we're just so proud of the work that they are doing uh, for God through this ministry that supports people who are going through a crisis pregnancy or have been through one, so we were proud to be there. While we were at the banquet, I got a text from my daughter that there was a fire nearby the ranch. And I want to read you her post. She said, holding my toddler and watching this go down the neighbor's property line fast. The only physical thing stopping it from getting ours was the direction of the wind. If it had shifted, we would have been packing. I have never been more glad to have hope in the one who makes the winds obey. Still so grateful, God. This is my fear for my daughter in Texas, the tornadoes and the fires. But I have to remember that God is watching over her and her family. And this was a scary night for me, but I'm glad everything was okay. The picture on the right is when all the fire had been calmed down. The next night, George and I had dinner at the Hermitage Steakhouse with some other dear friends of ours that we've known for a very long time, and we had a great time. It was wonderful 
to get and eat a meal with them and talk about things that were going on in our lives and we should do that more often. I just had to throw in a shot of George reading and hanging out with Dexter because it's just so sweet and I'm jealous he has the time to read. Good morning. It is Saturday, September 30th, the last day of September. I don't know where September's gone. I say that every month. <laughs> Maddie says hello. It's been a busy week. Thursday night, we were gone to a pregnancy care center fundraiser. That was, it was a really nice dinner. We do this every year. We've never had to use the services for any reason, but the reason we got involved with the pregnancy care center was mainly because we have friends um, that actually run the program. Our friend Lisa uh, runs that program and we went to church with Lisa some 20 something years ago, I think, with Kurt and Lisa, and we supported their missions in Scotland. And then when they came back and Lisa went to the Pregnancy Care Center, we uh, followed her there to support her efforts there. And so we have been to nearly every one, but one or two. I think we didn't have one the COVID year. And then there was one other year we could not go. That it's just an awesome event, an awesome program for pregnant women in crisis. And they, they meet the women where they are at, if I can say that, <laughs> where they're at. It's, it's in full support. They help them in so many ways. They pray with them. They help, um, help them make their decisions. They provide them with information so that they can make their own decisions. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful program. And about 80% of the women choose life. And so we, that's why we support that event. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a beautiful program for those that are in, uh, that find themselves in a crisis pregnancy situation. We also, on Friday night, went to dinner with some dear friends that we've said we're going to go to dinner with. We've known them for over 30 years and we have um, been together, you know, at numerous events and parties and George has done business with them also. And we've just known them. We've seen our families grow up. And so every time we see them somewhere, we're like, we've got to get together and go out. And we never did. But the last time we said, you know, life is you know, life is getting short here and who knows how much time we have left. So <laughs> we decided, hey, let's do this. So we went out to eat with them Friday night and that was wonderful. We had a great time. That was last night. Uh, just really enjoyed our dinner, our conversation, what's going on with our families and what our plans are. And, you know, it was just, it was really nice, really nice. Today, I'm basically just going to be doing some things that I've wanted to do. We've been gone the last three Saturdays. I think this is the fourth Saturday of the month and the final one that we have free. October kicks off our getting ready for Christmas and all that goes with that. So we're embracing today. <laughs> I'm going to be working on my bucket list for fall and Christmas. That takes us through the fourth quarter and to the first of the year. Okay, you can kind of see how well we did here. There's a lot of check marks. There's a lot of things left to do, and I'm going to try to be working on some of those today, like hemming PJs, started the puzzle, polishing my silver jewelry. I'll be glad to wear those again. Working on the lights, the globes. I really want to work on some of these things. Oop, I can cross that one off. We did the banquet. I'm gonna go ahead and do the October one. And since I have not done those things yet, I'm gonna be putting them on the October one. Just have to keep moving things forward. But we did pretty good. I'm not gonna complain. We did pretty good on our third quarter bucket list. So that was good. I'm, I'm amazed that we got as much done as we did. So I'm also going to be working on my Notion 
because I revise it the first of the month. And as you know, this is just a place where I park my to-do list. Um, well, it's a place where I par park my uh, shopping needs, um, some things that I don't want to forget about, my ideas. It has my Christmas planner on it. I use it for a dumping ground, basically. It's just where I put everything. <laughs> You know, it's a free service and you can use it on your computer and you can use it on your phone. You can access it anywhere that you have the internet. And so it's just been a delight to be able to have that to park my thoughts on. And, you know, whether I'm at work or out somewhere or at home, I can just pull it up and make notes and add something to it that I don't want to forget. I keep my grocery list on there. It's just, it's really working out for me things that I want to order, you know, it just works out. So I'm going to be revising that. I really enjoy making it the current season, you know, or for the current month, whatever we're doing. I change the photos and I create the vibe that I want to see every time I pull it up. Are so. you feeling bad, honey? She looks like she is kind of feeling bad. You're not feeling bad, are you? Are you okay? Are you okay? You just look like you're really tired. We slept pretty good last night. Real excited for the months ahead. We will take you with us when we go shopping and as we get ready for Christmas. So be sure and stay tuned so you don't miss any of the fun that we're gonna have. You can tell that the days ahead will be changing. You can see just a little bit of color changing in the trees. And this puts a pep in our step we start to think about all things fall and winter. We think about Thanksgiving and Christmas, football season. We think about chili and all of our favorite winter foods like pork stew and beef stew. And it's just an excitement in the air. Our to-do lists start to gather a little bit of a different twist to them. And we really get excited about this time of year. I personally really like thinking about the cozy days ahead under a blanket, watching Netflix or reading a book, and that really excites me. What are you doing, Dexter? What you know a little bit? Is it that bad? Okay guys, I, I told you I would show you my Notion after I set it up and um, I've set it up now. So just real quickly, I'll show you. Let me record my screen here. Okay, the screen is recording. Okay, here we go. So basically what I did is change this from a September Outlook to an October Outlook. So just kind of changed the aesthetic just a little bit and have changed my cover. Uh, as you can see, I have a shopping area for all the different places that I order, grocery lists. This is just kind of where I park things until I do my orders and then it's already ready to go. My Christmas planning, I've worked on that. I spent some time on that in September. That was one of my September goals that was completed and that is actually set up. As you can see, um, we can't go into the secret Christmas list because somebody's gift might be in there. I do have my timeline started. I do have some additional things I need to add to it. Um, my wish list, Christmas, web, Christmas websites to shop, areas that we talked about wanting to shop this year, and then a place to put our Christmas menu ideas that we have. So the Christmas planning is all set up. I'm going to go back to my home page. And basically, I just kind of changed the pictures out. I took away my September list, anything that was undone. I just moved into October. So I do have October projects going on. We have mom's power of attorney that we're still working on. I think we're about there. We've got to get a notary. Got to make sure mom's okay with what we've selected. And so we're coming along with some of her goals. 
So here's all the things we want to do in October. Some fun things, some goals and personal goals, household goals, um, having the life group over. I went ahead and started November's goals and December goals because I did actually have some thoughts already for those months. So I added that. I changed the uh, photos on the side to some more cozy looking photos, things for October and December, November, and that's pretty much it. But that's pretty much my Notion account. I love it and I enjoy every month just kind of resetting it for the vibe for that month. There you have it. <laughs> I know you want in my lap. I gotta work on the computer for a few minutes. <laughs> You're so sweet, Dexter. You know mama loves you too. <laughs> Sit on your bed. I moved your bed over here. I'm gonna work on the computer. Just for a little while. Uh-oh, I see something I need to pick up before Dexter gets it. <laughs> great day it's gone by really fast <laughs> but it was nice to have a Saturday at home out of the last four Maddie is waiting for me to go to sleep yeah so I got the bucket list done we just got some housework done lots of laundry as always I fixed spaghetti and it was just a really relaxing day so all right over and out please give us a like a subscribe, a comment. Any one of those would be wonderful. <laughs> I hope you will come back. Good night, friends.